What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Own a progression. It's all that I wanted to all right, so today on the agenda we have chest, a little bit of shoulders, and a little bit of triceps. Now, can you build muscle with just body weight training? Absolutely. Can you look better? Absolutely. A lot of it comes down to the nutrition that you're putting into your body. What are you consuming? What are your macros? How much are you eating per day? Are you sleeping well? Are you drinking the right amount of fluids, water? Do you have your electrolytes? There's so much that goes into it, but also at the same time, not really much at all. It's the simple stuff in life that will bring you the physique that you want. Now 30 for 30, what does it mean? Every single morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're coming back with a new video. If it's not posted, it's a rest of recovery day. And then after these 30 days, we're going to go into vlogs and bring you a little bit more excitement with training, maybe in the gym or wherever it is. Now, before we jump into the actual workout, I wanna give you a few tips you could be following for not only this workout and future workouts, so let's get right in. All right, quick tip number one. Warm up good before you get started with the workout. Your shoulder joint will be utilized intensively, so be prepared. Number two, squeeze your core as much as possible during movements and try to keep your rib cage down during these same movements. Number three, the low stim wild blueberry pre-workout launches in 24 hours. Link is in the description for when you are ready to purchase. Number four, if you are plateauing and have been training hard for a while, I suggest taking a full week off. It may be the change you need to grow again. Number five, and last but not least, go eat your favorite meal today. Just because you eat something you enjoy doesn't mean you are going to lose all your gains. Just don't do it every single day and you'll be fine. All right, we're gonna start off today's workout with just a couple of sets of 30 chest pulsators. So these pulsators, the way they're gonna work, and you've done this in previous workouts if you've been following for quite some time, hands outside of shoulder width apart. We're gonna squeeze in our abs, remember that rib cage? So we're actually going to try and push ourselves away from the ground. This is gonna be in the proper position. From this position, we're gonna come down about halfway and we're gonna pulsate ass up, all right? Make sure it's just about an inch or two and that's your set. All right, so we are going into Spider-Man push-ups each side to anterior delt pulsators. So with these Spider-Man push-ups, what you're gonna do is get in a push-up position, okay? Our hands, you can go make them a little bit wider, if so, whatever stabilizes a little bit best for you, all right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring one arm forward. When you bring one arm forward, that same leg on that same side is going to come up almost like in a fire hydrant, okay? So let me show you. Here, and fire hydrant, and come down here, squeeze, and come right back up, boom, and switch, okay? Then here, coming up like a fire hydrant, and then boom, switch, all right? The most important thing here is making sure the fire hydrant, when you're coming up, is staying as externally rotated as possible in this movement, okay? Then, you're gonna go into anterior pulsators. This is working this delt, as so, all right? So, you're gonna go just above eye level here, and you're gonna go as fast as possible, okay? Now, it says 30. What I want you to do is do 30 higher than then eye level, and then I want you to go a little bit lower and here, just below your chin or about chin height. Make sure you're retracting and depressing your scaps as so, so you're putting your scapulas in the right position to work your delt the right way. All right, come on over here. We're gonna be doing arrow assisted handstand push-ups, moving into an elevated push-up, but pause, okay? Now with these arrow, elevated, whatever you wanna call them, assisted handstand push-ups, you put your feet on a couch if you're more advanced, if not, that's fine. You're gonna go pretty wide with your hands because you're gonna be going from one side to the other. That's what arrow means, okay? Now, a lot of us, we're gonna want to go on the outer sides of our palms. We don't want that. We wanna squeeze in as much as possible and try and come here where everything is intact on the ground with no thumb or finger coming off, all right? So, when we're in this position, we're gonna pike as much as possible, squeeze in everything. If you wanna bend your knees a little bit, you can, but we don't wanna go to our nose. We're gonna go to the top of our head, okay? So, watch as so, it's to the top of my head, boom, straight back up. To the top of my head, boom, and straight back up. And if you do this correctly, and it's nice and slow, you're gonna see great results. From there, we're gonna go into this position here, where your feet are gonna be on a couch, on a platform, on a chair, whatever it is, all right? Your arms are gonna be a little bit wider than a normal push-up, but you're gonna squeeze in your glutes, tuck in, keep your rib cage pushing away as much as possible. You're gonna come down, you're gonna pause in this position, and then explode right back up. If you wanna make it a little bit slower, you can, that's up to you, time under tension, incorporate 
break that, but that is your superset. Okay, we're gonna be doing three point lateral raises on each side going into 15 floor tricep extensions. So the three point lateral raises, I want you to use a table, something, see I'm even a little bit too tall for this table specifically, but a table where right here, about the back side of your wrist right here, is laying against the table here, okay? Also, if you wanna take off your socks, completely fine. Make sure you have a little bit more traction on the ground and you're stabilizing in a really, really good position, athletic position. So you're gonna retract and depress your scaps. The reason why we're doing this is we're trying to put our scapula in the right position so that when it does upward rotate right here, it is going to allow your shoulder to work and engage fully, okay? So from this position, I want you to find the back of your wrist, bend over slightly, okay? It's not a full, full bend over, that would be a more posterior delt raise. But from here, we're gonna hold five seconds and push in to the table as much as possible, tucking in your chin, then you come out, squat a little bit more on this one. Again, press in as much as you can. Now, you're gonna notice this last one, I'm actually gonna, because I'm so low, I'm going to actually put my hand under the table and utilize it here, squeeze as much as possible. Ah, five second holds each time. Oh boy, that's exhausting. Okay, from there, we're gonna be moving into the floor tricep extensions. Remember, that's each side on that on that past movement. The floor tricep extension, you've done this before. Hands are gonna be, I don't know, about six to eight inches away from each other, making sure our elbows are pretty aligned under our shoulders, all right? Now, key here is to try and push everything in as much as you can as you're coming up and extending. Now, you can pike your hips a little bit if you're more of a beginner, but you wanna try and squeeze as much as possible, tucking your chin, push away, remember rib cage away, tucking everything in, and from here, coming straight up, boom, resetting. Coming up, boom, resetting. Most important thing, pressing in your thumbs and all of your fingers into the ground as much as you can so you can stabilize and really isolate those triceps as much as possible. Okay, so we have book push-ups. I'm gonna be using Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Hiltons <laughs> for this one. Into some pec fly sliding push-ups on the ground, okay? So, this is the cool thing about these, these types of books. So, first of all, they're great reads. Number two, um, the platform here is gonna allow you to stabilize a little bit more and work the opposite side um, just, just, just as much as you can. So it's just creating different lever, leverages and um, shifting things. That's, that's very important for body weight training. Stabilizing in different positions, creating resistance in different ways. Um, and a lot of it's gonna be working similar muscles just in a different way, like I'm saying. So from this position, you can use one or two books, whichever is fine. I'm gonna use two books, okay? Now, the focus here is to make sure when you're in your position of a push-up, you're pushing everything away and you make sure that you're not flaring out your elbow as you're coming down. We have a tendency that we'll want to do that because we're on an elevated surface. Surface. So from here, what you're gonna do is just come a little bit over to your right side. So you're actually gonna move your hand a little bit further out. I recognize that as I was, as I was about to go down, right? So from this positioning, you're gonna come down slightly to the right. It's almost like an assisted one arm push up, and then squeeze as much as possible back to the midline, all right? This elbow is not gonna fully extend up top. It'll just stay around here come down and then right here and flex slightly at that elbow okay now from there we're gonna go into a pec fly with some socks all right so you can put a sock put it in your hand as so it's a little sweaty <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> so from this position go into a push-up position I'm gonna show you it on the knees and then you could do it on your feet um, in a push-up position if you would like but what we're gonna do we're gonna go here okay now if you can, I want you to come here all the way out as an arrow push-up, right? And then from here, I'm going to squeeze as much as possible and allow my hand to go from pointing outward to inward here, straight in a neutral position, all right? So it's more of like an external rotation, all the way to squeezing as much as possible. So your knees here, squeezing your glutes as much as possible. It's gonna be here and out. Boom, squeezing as much as possible, boom. All right, now, if you wanna do two at the same time, you can. It's gonna be pretty brutal. All right, so you're gonna be here, you're gonna come out, boom, and coming right back in and squeezing as much as possible. I'm not going all the way out on my left shoulder because it's actually injured, so I'm taking a little bit of light, but you get the point of it. Squeezing your glutes, make sure your chin is suspended and you're squeezing as much as possible, going from the external rotate 
two, more internal rotation and neutral position at the end, and that is your workout. <sighs> All right, there you have it. Sweaty socks on the hands. It was worth it. Great workout, right? If you haven't tried it yet, I highly suggest you do it with a friend to kind of challenge each other to follow the proper technique, but also to activate the muscles in the right way and really just feel the burn together. Now remember, you can build muscle with body weight training. You just gotta eat right. Eat the right foods. Also, if you wanna try out Body Evo, which is my body weight training program, it is releasing very, very soon for just 10 bucks instead of $47. I wanna help people out as much as I can, and I feel like that's a, that's a good way. I also include uh, home workouts and stuff in there as well. If you wanna pick up the Create You Nutrition pre-workout, the one that's finally releasing, naturally colored, flavored, and sweetened, you can try that out on Monday morning, which is tomorrow, in just less than 24 hours, April 27th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link is always in the description. Anyway, Anyways, give me your feedback. Follow me on Instagram right here. I'm Brennan. This is the 30 for 30 series. Remember, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're back every single morning, sometimes even not, because it's a rest of recovery day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.